Okay, uh, I came across this new add-on. Um, it's called Luna Lunar Sphere. Luna Sphere. Um, it's a really cool add-on. It basically hides your UI for the most part and compacts it into different types of menus. Um, a really cool add-on, and I'm going to try to give you a brief demonstration of how to use this add-on. Keeping in mind, I had downloaded an extra add-on for this add-on, which allows me to get different skins, different looks, different things like that. Okay, so what you want to do when you get this add-on, this is kind of what you're going to get, except it's not going to have the cool colors or the different, you know, things inside of it. It's going to be empty. Um, you want to hit Control and uh, right-click, and this is going to bring up this menu, and you want to go to templates and they'll automatically upload in case you didn't do this from the get-go upload the UI that's meant for you whether you're a death knight whatever uh, in this case I clicked on my death knight template and loaded it and it brought up uh, something along the lines of this it's a little different because I think so what you want to do is you want to go through each and individual thing that you have on here, uh, right click it, find what picture it is. Uh, sorry, there we go. You're going to see a picture of like my horn in winter. You're going to see it says spell item macro in keybind next to it. Um, you want to delete all of them. You can't take them off that I can know of yet or that I've found out yet, anyways. So you want to just uh, scroll through here and click none, and that's going to make it disappear. Um, you can kind of still see them there, but they're not there. Um, what this basically does is when you uh, sorry, where one when you take off your edit buttons, which is what you have to do in order to get back to the normal screen, it's going to uh, only bring out the action bars that you put up. Uh, in this case, for example here, I have my Icebound Fortitude pick. I click it, it goes to the Horner Winter and it stops. But, if I go to my edit menu, you can see the improved weapon here and the uh, the uh, death chill here that is up there too. Even though it's not there because I took it off, you know, it, sh it shows you that. What you don't want to do, and this is very important, until I figure out how to, you know, Unless you can figure it out, or until I figure it out, this is by Do not take a spell and put it on the inner circle, which is basically the the circles here that you see right here. My uh, jewel crafting one, my prospecting one, my mount one, uh, my tax, and so on and so forth. You don't want to put anything in that, because if you do, then you're not going to have this long bar crossed. You're just going to have one. For example my jewel crafting. Um, this one here is blinking. This bar did go all the way out here to my last few spells here, but now that I put jewel crafting in it, I no longer have this long menu here like I do for this one here. Um, so it's very important that you don't add anything to this inner circle here. Um, so a few things here that we could do is start with um, setting up your hot bar. Um, your number one through zero or plus sign or whatever you want to do. Um, I have mine set up and you click it it's going to bring up this menu it's going to show that my uh, dark command is my uh, first box here. Uh, I'm going to click the key bind by left clicking it and it's going to be blank like it is now and I'm going to type in one and then save and that's going to make it my key bind for one so when I hit one uh, after I leave my menu here, my edit buttons, when I hit 1, it's going to uh, taunt something, per se. Not necessarily taunt, but, you know, you get the point. Uh, death Grip, I made it for 2, you know, and so on and so forth. So, that's how you make your keybinds. You could do that for any of them, so on and so forth. Okay, so, a few other things here that's really... <laughs> well, we're going to start with... Uh, uh, inventory. You can auto sell junk gray items. So if I click that, when you first click it, 
these thing these three things are going to be clicked as well. Unclick them, and it will sell every th every time you go to a vendor of some kind, a repair guy of some kind. Any gray item you have in your bags, it's automatically going to sell for you. So you don't have to go and randomly click through them and try to find them or whatever. It sells them for you. You also have an auto repair. It has a repair log. Uh, you can print out repair bill. You can use gill repair when possible if you want to do that. Or bypass vendor gossip. Um, there's also menus for an action, uh, ha an auction house, and an auction mail options, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the next thing is, which is really cool about this feature is is the speech. Um, the speech is really cool. It comes with three, uh, well, you see four there, but it, there's no, you know, there's no four. I added one myself. But you, you'll you see generic mount, flying mount, and resurrect. And this is underneath the speech tab. And what you want to do is, say, for ground, uh, for generic mount, which is your, your regular epic, you know, mount. You click that. You go to settings, you click C and bring open your, your uh, pet menu, which is your mounts. You get your ground mount, you drag them over here, and you drop them into the box, which is next to add. Once you do that, you click add, and it's going to put your mount in this box down here. And then the speeches next to the settings here, it tells you all the different speeches. So, for example, I had added it and I click on my uh, mount here. I'm gonna, in this case I'm going to uh, see if this works here. There you go. So it automatically says a little quirky thing. So if you're into that sort of thing, cool. In this case. So that pretty much covers most of that I would assume. Um, if you have any questions feel free to ask. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Um, you can also hide default UI objects which means the big bar that's on the bottom of your screen with the two eagles on the side you can hide that you can hide uh, mini map time zone the mini map zoom world map icon you can pretty much hide everything if you want to um, back buttons hide those because uh, I can just click shift and B like I always do um, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Feel free to rate, comment, you know, post your opinions up on this uh, video. <laughs> um, and in case you're kind of curious of why my action or my, why my presence is up here by my mini map, I have dominoes so I can kind of move around and uh, right click here and scale it down pretty small. Um, you know, put it wherever I want to there. Uh, and it has different, you know, things. Cast bar, you can move your cast bar, your pet bar, your vehicle bar, you can move anything. It's a pretty cool thing. Um, so other than that, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And take care.